To start my talk off, I just want you to close your eyes and imagine. Imagine you're living a normal, happy life. Then, one day, you're evacuated from your home along with many other people and witness your house be destroyed by something you once took for granted. Open your eyes. What you just imagined is happening to hundreds of Canadians daily due to something called climate change. A lot of people, especially kids, are hearing about climate change, otherwise known as global warming, a lot nowadays. Whether on TV, in school, or at work, most people have at least heard of it. But what is climate change? According to the Google Dictionary, climate change is a change in global or regional climate patterns. Did you know that 800 million people are defenseless against the effects of climate change, such as flooding, rising sea levels, heat waves, and extreme weather events? 800 million people. To reword that and to put it into perspective, 11% of the world's population, the population of the world being 7.5 billion, is vulnerable to the effects of climate change. I think we're kind of unlucky, both breathing out the same gas that contributes to the number one problem on our hands nowadays, and having world leaders who don't think climate change is a problem when it unquestionably is. Now, a lot of people wonder what causes climate change or global warming. The main reason is us humans and something called the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect takes place when the sun's heat gets to Earth. Most of the heat bounces off Earth and escapes the atmosphere. But when greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, or ozone enter the atmosphere, the sun's heat gets trapped in the gases. Now, when more greenhouse gases enter the atmosphere, the less heat escapes the atmosphere, and the planet's climate changes or heats up. This results in longer winters, summers, and changing season times. Have any of you noticed that winter came and ended later than usual this year? Let me tell you a story that took place a few weeks ago, when I was going down Safari Street, a street close to our town. Going down the street, I saw something that was not very good. The water looked like this. Good. <laughs> I realized that even though this might be a product of the rainy month, some places water is this high and not because of the rain. Climate change is in full swing and people will reap what we sow. Humans only have 12 years left before the effects of climate change are not reversible anymore, so why do we just sit around and do nothing? Why do we vote for world leaders who won't even try and save their country by helping save the world? Research shows that Canada is changing or warming twice as fast as other countries, and some other countries' water has risen an incredible amount. We might not know it, but climate change affects us and others more than we think about it. We all need to change so that the next generation has a future. As a youth, I feel like I need to do as much as I can. I decided that if I were going to help the world, I was going to go big or go home. I plan to get a bunch of tree saplings and plant a tree a day in the park next to my house, but then my grandma told me about municipal laws, so I decided to plant a fern in her backyard instead. With my plan not going exactly the way I expected, I decided to find another way to help the earth in a compact, non-law violating way. I did a bit of research and found something really cool called artificial photosynthesis. Artificial photosynthesis, to put it simply, is a machine that photo mimics photosynthesis, taking in carbon dioxide and letting out oxygen and other gases. This is good for a few reasons. Now it's time for a chemistry lesson. Ooh. For artificial photosynthesis, you take two elements, in our case, cobalt and zirconium, and you embed them into a gel carrier or matrix. Basically, when the, when the elements come into contact with sunlight, the reaction occurs and the carbon dioxide taken in gets split into carbon and oxygen, the two gases that make up carbon dioxide. Artificial photosynthesis is good for three reasons. Helping the, reducing the carbon dioxide levels, creating more oxygen, and also creating a sustainable energy source. This helps solve many problems, such as air pollution and water pollution, because of less oil dumped in lakes and oceans. Artificial photosynthesis is great for the environment, but it's still not a big enough solution for something as big as climate change. Doing 
more brainstorming, I came up with an idea, Smart Belt. Smart Belt takes the concept of artificial photosynthesis, miniaturizes it, and fits it onto a belt buckle. Wearing a Smart Belt, someone would just have to take a walk outside on a nice day to help reduce carbon dioxide levels. With enough materials, we could be able to create Smart Belts for the global population. Some Smart Belt spin-offs could include Smart Caps for cyclists, bikers, and runners, or Smart Roof for cars. I know I'm just a kid, but who knows what I can accomplish when I work with others towards a goal. We can all stop climate change if we all work together. So go outside, plant a tree, do whatever you can to help make the world a better place for future generations. Thank you.